little kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. You have just tuned in to the Mag Nerd Podcast. Your home for everything in music, anime, and gaming. What is up, people? Showing up the king here, back with another toy hunting video, and today... I am out of town, you know, I had to uh, come and get the fresh cut, had to come get back to normal, and again, I've had the same barber for about 15 years, so I uh, definitely will drive distances to make sure I got the freshest cut. You boys know what I'm talking about. All right, so this is episode four. Uh, we are, uh, since I'm out of town, I decided I'm going to stop past all the local Targets and Walmarts in this area on my way back home to see what they got. You know, I'm looking for them Joes. Still looking for some uh, Power Rangers. Uh, most importantly, the uh, MMPR Black. And, you know, just see what else they got out there. You know, I love to see what other little action figures and such they got around my, around other areas. So, sit back and relax. Enjoy the show. See you in a bit. All right, boys. We are in the Target. Currently walking over to the aisle. I gotta tell you, there's nothing more exciting than the anticipation of going into a new Target that you don't normally go to, because you never know what to expect. You never know. All right, guys, we're here. I'm gonna start from the left. See what we got. We got Beyblade, letting it rip. Here's the Marvel section. Looks like a big flop. Down bottom, we got a lot of, and we got three Squirrel Girls. I was about to say, there's always only two. But this location, we got three Squirrel Girls, all equally useless. Crap, crap, crap. This isn't looking good, boys. This isn't looking good. No Joes, of course. Not even, we got the same Ghostbusters. Jesse, ooh, right ooh, there. ooh, we got the yeah. Target exclusive lead foot. I've heard this actually, people really care about this, so I might have to look into this. We'll see. We got the stiff, no new, no new Power Rangers, no Power Rangers at all. All right, so other than the lead foot, you didn't really do much. All right, let's see if they got a NECA section. Hi, right, boys. We're back. Just left the first Target location. I actually did decide to pull the trigger on uh, the lead foot. This is the Target exclusive. Um, from Intel that I have received, I, I found out that this is a sought-after figure, so we'll see if we can uh, do a quick flip on that. I'm also uh, meeting up with someone from um, episode three. I told you guys I was in the process of selling my in space and I did find a buyer for that. So I have to meet with them this afternoon. So I can't stay out of town for much longer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit up the, the Walmart, which is about, mm, about two, three minutes away from where I am currently, see what they got. And then uh, I'm gonna head back home. All right, I'm in Walmart. This Walmart is extremely busy, um, even for a Saturday. I mean, this place is like way too many people. God damn. We're going to see what they got and get the hell up out of here. All right, here's the pop display. We got a new shoe. Some random electronics. And it looks to be, that's it. Nothing of any importance. Let's go to the toy section. Alright, so we saw the next section had nothing. And it looks like the toy section has equal amounts of nothing. Here we have the Batman stuff that's just nothing but peg warmers. We got some Avengers stuff, some Ghostbusters stuff, again, Peg Warmers. No Marvel Legends that I can see. We got the Cygore. 
I'm not seeing even any Power Rangers. We got some base level WWE stuff. Nothing that nobody would really want. Got some Baby Yoda garbage. Oh, so they do have the Raw 10 Battle Serpent. And it looks like that's it. On this side, so you guys can see. Transformers. Looks like they have they have the Megatron from the new Netflix one. I thought it was kind. Of, I thought that was that show was cool. By the way, it wasn't great. It wasn't like Transformers Prime good, but it wasn't bad. All right, so it looks like uh, the out of state trips were a bust, but we did manage to get that Target exclusive. So uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right, boys, episode four, first target of the week. Going to check out the next section. Then we're going to see what they got. Hoping for some turtles, maybe get some resale value on those. See if they got any. Still looking for MMPR Black. Here we go. All right, so here's the section. We got some It, we got some Aliens. You got a Friday the 13th mask. You know, Halloween's coming up, so that's kind of cool. Let's see what we got over here. No turtles, which isn't a surprise. All right, we got the Pops. Pops are starting to go on clearance, so we're just starting to move out for Pops from the inventory. And... That's it. Let's go over to the uh, other section. All right. So we are now in the Batman section. We got the Batmobile. We got the Power Rangers. Go up. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got Cobra Commander. We got Gun Ho. Yeah, you know what? I do need a second Cobra Commander for my custom. Oh, wow. That's a first. Look at that. Gun Ho in abundance. Score. Let's see what else they got. Alright, so we got some Power Rangers. Just time for us. Let's see. Let's go look at Marvel Legends. Looks like that's still all the basic stuff. Yeah, still all the basic stuff, nothing new. But look at that. Extra Cobra Commander. Nice. All right, we'll be back in the car. All right, boys, just left the Target and I picked up the Coco, AKA Cobra Commander. Got him. Uh, like I said in um, episode two, I did order a custom Cobra Commander, Co Cobra Commander head sculpt in the kind of 80s motif with the little rag over his head with the two holes poked in it. So instead of me having to switch him out with my current Cobra Commander, it makes sense to have at least two. So that's why I got the second one. Uh, I didn't get this on tape, but while I was also in the Target, I noticed that they had a new line of Dragon Ball figures, and they're on a cheaper side. It's probably one of the cheapest ones that I've ever seen. It's called uh, Dragon Ball Evolution, and it's this. So I picked up the uh, Golden Frieza, and it's actually called Dragon Ball Evolve. That's the brand name. So the reason why I actually got it is because it was just Frieza. Now, I don't have a Golden Frieza, and I never felt comfortable buying an SH Figure Arts Golden Frieza because, again, he is a smaller character. So paying the $60, $70 for that kind of figure just didn't sit well with me. I didn't feel like it was worth it. But paying $10 for that figure, and he is essentially the same size that Frieza would be on a 6-inch scale, I mean, why not? And if you look at the back... 
the other figures, then they also did have Ultra Instant Goku and Jiren, and they were all on like a four to five inch scale, so it wasn't, they wouldn't work in your normal six inch scale. Uh, but the freezer does, so I'm going to uh, review him also on my uh, Instagram page, do like a two minute toy review. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the uh, Magnum Podcast Instagram page because I post cool shit like that. All right, it's time to head to the next location. All right, guys, decided to stop at a new toy store today. This place is called uh, Second Chance. It's supposed to be uh, cheaper action sugar, so we're going to see what they got real quick. I'm not going to look at everything, but we're going to look at a little bit of everything. So we got Spider-Man. I'm not liking that price. We got the two-pack. This is a even... That is fifty dollars as a retail. We got the Tiger Electronics X Men. I actually got this. I have the actual entire set. Which is fourteen. Oh, let's see what else they got. We got Marvel Select Deadpool. Got some Game of Thrones. Got some Masters of the Universe stuff. Got some Godzilla, Borderlands, Transformers. Okay, so we got some Marvel Legends. Let's see what they got. Looks like they got all the current stuff. 22. I'm not loving these prices. Oh, and they got the new Wolverine too. So this is a nice spot if you're looking for stuff that's missing. Oops. You can probably get it here. So I'll probably keep that in mind if I'm looking for some hard to find stuff. Alright guys, oh they even got the Magneto Professor X one too. Probably gonna buy anything here guys. Just another quick thing, you saw this Star Wars stuff. They got some of the new Star Wars action figures as well. We got the Stormtrooper. We got the Wookiee, Ray. We got stuff down here. Okay, I do think that's it this time. All right, guys, we are on the final day of episode four. I decided to add a new stop to my um, toy hunt. I am currently heading to a Barnes and Noble in my city. Wanted to um, check it out because again, I've been to this Barnes and Noble before and they actually had a very, very good stock of uh, action figures. Uh, they had a lot of import stuff like SH Figure Arts, things like that. Um, so I just want to kind of, since this was a skim week, I decided to shoot my shot and see what they got. So I'll take you guys on my journey. After that, I will hit up another target in my area and then that'll be a wrap for this episode. And then I'll see you guys at the wrap up. So, uh, let's jump into this Barnes and Noble. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are in the Barnes and Noble. Let's stop the pop section first, get that out of the way. So here's a list of some of the pops they currently have. We got a lot of uh, board games. Monopoly and such. But I'm not a really big pop guy, so it's not my thing. Alright, so let's see what they got. Like I said, they have a great fantastic oh wow look at that they got the Broly oh and they got King Piccolo see I knew it I told y'all they got a masterpiece Ultra Instinct statue this is for Shoujo oh that's nice I love the hair too this is what I wanted from the SH Figure Arts Goku I would buy that oh they, have, oh, they got the Broly too Oh, that's nice. 
I got Super Saiyan Blue. It's crazy. Oh, I got the Good Smile Sora. I think this is a Sigma. We got Hercule, Mr. Sultan. We got that, and we got Death Sights. I have him though. I'm looking for the Burning Gundam. Let's see what they got on the other side. Alright, start at the bottom. We got more statues. Vegeta, Goku, Vegito. We got Zamasu. Oh, they got Sabu. Oh, man. I don't have this. I'm going to look online. Oh, this thing is 80 bucks though. I don't know if I want to pay 80. I don't realize he was this big. If I can find a discount, I might get him. Alright, so this is what they got here. Nothing too special. Let's see what else they got. They got a lot of model kit stuff. And let's see. Now we're starting to get into the NIST stuff. Got some Harry Potter stuff over there. Harry Potter, my wife, my wife is huge into Harry Potter. And so am I for to, to a certain extent. Alright, let's see if I can find some Marvel Legends. Alright guys, sorry for the quick cut, but uh when I was in Barnes and Nobles. For some reason, I thought that they had like a Marvel Legends section, but they didn't. All they, they literally all they had was import um, toys, pops, and then they had like a bunch of like board games, kids' toys, stuff like that. But we ain't here for that. We here for big boy toys, as I like to, as I tell my daughters. <laughs> so um, I'm heading to Target now to check out their Marvel Legends and see what they got. And then, like I said, we'll, we'll um, head back to the man cave for the wrap up. So let's go into this Target. All right, here we are inside the Target. We're gonna stop past the NECA section first. See what they got popping. All right, we were here earlier this week, so I'm not expecting to see anything crazy. I never saw this Night Mountain Street 2 though. Oh, that's kind of cool. See, this is one of the lines that I don't want to get interested in. Because I was such a horror fan as a kid that it would just be dangerous. Mutagen Tour. Godzilla vs. Biolente. It's just it's not my style. And we got the tops. No turtles. Let's see. All right, let's see what they got. Let's see, I don't see any of the new Power Rangers, still no Black Ranger. That Black Ranger still seems to elude me. No Yellow Ranger either. Uh, looks like they still got Gun Ho. Let's see what else they got behind him. So we got three Gun Ho's. He seems to be the the new flood, no red ninja. Definitely no Van S. Let's see what else we got. We got Gamerverse. Starting to look like they might be getting ready for a reset because everything's looking chaotic. They still got the Black Widow stuff. I refuse. I want this stuff for the effect pieces. But I'm not paying $30 for that. So once this gets some clearance, then I'll pick it up. 
So we got Iron Man, Ms. Marvel, Captain America, Wolverine, a bunch of the same. Let's look at their wrestling figures. Where is that at? I think he's on the other side. Let's go see. Excuse me. Sorry about that. There was a family, and I didn't want to get them on camera. But this is what we got for superstars. We got AJ, Ronda Rousey, Seth Rollins. We got The Rock, Kofi Kingston. And that's about it. Final observation before we head out. I am looking at the clearance section. And it looks like the X-Men um, Sugar Man wave is starting to be on clearance. Looks like Weapon X is down to $13.99 from $20. And they got Morph. They do have X-Men. And then they have Wild Child. So I'm imagining probably within another week or so. A couple of weeks or so, it'll probably jump down to about $10 to $5. So, uh, we're going to hold off on that for right now. What is up, people? This is Showed Up The King here. We are at the wrap-up. Episode 4 is officially in the books. Uh, it was it was slim pickings this week, guys. I got to tell you, uh, if if not for, you know, Amazon, it, this, this would have been uh, a definitely a disappointing week for hunting. But, you know what? It is what it is. Not every week is going to be a hit week, and this one was not one of those. But I did get some interesting things. Uh, before I get started with the with the haul, again, I just want to thank you guys so much for the support. Again, we are officially 21 subscribers away from me hitting that magical number of 1,000. So thank you guys so, so, so much. Again, you guys have been so supportive of me and the channel over the past uh, few months that, again, I just appreciate every single one of you boys to the max all right so what i decided to do is um like i said i'm doing a contest i'm going to do an action figure giveaway um and i told you i've been thinking about what figures i'm going to include in the actual raffle or for which figure you want to get so i just thought i'd provide you guys with a little bit of uh, insight on what you guys will have to look for forward to so uh one of the figures that i will be putting in to the giveaway will be this uh marvel legend series black widow um deadly origin so this will be one of the options you guys can pick from. Also, uh, we'll be putting in the Marvel Legends series Taskmaster. Uh, this was, I also did a full review on this figure. And again, this was one hell of a figure. So if you don't have this in your collection, it's not really in stores right now for, for the most part. But again, if this is something that you're missing, hey, it's a free action figure. You know, it is what it is. And then um, I definitely wanted to switch it up a bit. So I'm also going to be offering a Destro from the G.I. Joe Classified series as one of the options. So um, you guys, if you're missing a Destro, you'll be able to pick from this as well. So essentially what I'm going to do, and again, that's not the only action figures that you might have to be able to choose from. I'm still working on which ones I'm going to add. And again, we'll talk more in detail about that once we hit 1,000 subscribers. But uh, those are just some of the options that you guys have. Uh, now, that being said, let's jump into this haul, all right? So, one of the first things that I ended up getting, um, as you guys would see, was the uh, Bandai Dragon Ball Super Dragon Ball Evolve. And um, this was this new cheaper line. This was only a $9 figure. And uh, they're not actually 6-inch scale. They're more like a 5-inch scale. But Frieza... Frieza is already a smaller character, so he actually fits pretty well in a six-inch scale for SH Figure Arts. So I was able to get, and I was able to, I, I picked up the Golden Frieza because, again, I don't own the SH Figure Art Golden Frieza, and this one is actually pretty good. And, again, he has tail articulation. You know, he has, you know, pretty good movement for a uh, $9 figure. The only hindrance that I noticed was in the head. We don't get any, like, neck swivel or even much of a head turn, per se. And, again, maybe once I heat it up, it might get a little bit more range of motion. But, again, for a $9 figure, it's you can't beat it, especially for him to be able to still fit in the SH Figure Arts line. So, that's what I got. Um, also... 
uh, honestly, that was it. As far as like what was purchased this week. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I take that back. Um, as you guys did see, I was able to get an extra cocoa. So again, you know, we I discussed that in a video. So again, I'm not gonna rehash it here, but I do have an extra cocoa, um, Cobra Commander for those who don't know what I'm talking about. Um, also, Amazon came through with the motherfucking clutch and I got my Red Ninja. I have not seen these in any Target, Walmart, anywhere yet. So, um, yeah, it's, gotta love Amazon for it. It came through with the motherfucking clutch. And uh, also, um, I got this. As you guys know, I'm, I'm the host of the Magner Podcast. And again, Magner Podcast stands for music, anime, and gaming. So I am a heavy, heavy gamer. And this is the new game that came out that I had delivered today uh, from Amazon. And this is Super Mario 3D All-Stars for the Nintendo Switch. I got it. I'm going to be playing it this weekend. I'm actually going to go visit my sister and my dad uh, tomorrow. So I'll be out of town. But again, that's, I'll start filming episode 5 tomorrow since I'll be out of town. You know I got to stop at the uh, out-of-town Targets and Walmarts. It's mandatory. Anyway, so the last item that I got was this bad man pajama. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this. Now, with this Marvel's Kingpin, the Retro Wave Spider-Man is Retro Wave is done. I have I have Electro, I have Gwen Stacy, I got Green Goblet, and I got Spider-Man. I did not want Peter Parker and I did not want Daredevil. Uh, but this Kingpin looks amazing. He is amazing. And I, you guys, I've been holding on to this for at least 24 hours. I wanted to open this up yesterday when it arrived through the mail. But I held off because, again, I wanted to show you guys what it looked like in its box and its card art and everything. So you can see it pure. And I'm going to I'm going to actually review it on the YouTube channel. So this video will be up today, which is Friday the 19th. And then... Look for the Kingpin video to be up tomorrow. It'll, I'll schedule it to hit tomorrow afternoon. So if you guys want to see what that Spider-Man looks like, stay tuned for that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, only other thing that I want to say is um, if you guys have not known, uh, PlayStation 5 is officially coming out. And it's going to be released on November 11th. And pre-orders were pretty hard to get. But guess what? Good luck, wife charm came through with the motherfucking clutch again. Uh, I was not able to get a pre order when they went live because again, no one knew it was going live. But my wife, she looked out for me, and yesterday she was scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and refreshing and refreshing. And she was finally able to get me a uh, PlayStation 5 pre order from um, Walmart. So PlayStation 5 has been secured. Now we just got to get the Xbox Series X. So again, for my video game fans, stay tuned for that. Unofficial unboxing and review for both those systems. And before I go, just let you guys know, uh, Call of Duty uh, Cold War, the new game that's out from Infinity Ward, there is a alpha available this weekend, today and tomorrow. So and it's for free. So if you're on PlayStation, just go ahead and download it. I know this is a toy talk but you know i had to throw in a little gaming in there as well again thank you guys so much for your support let's get to that thousand i'm going to start working on the discord slowly working on everything i got some good shit planned for y'all 2020 2021 this is showing up the king have a good weekend peace